I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and jump because. I'm gonna tell you the tips that I use to film my sports workout videos so that you can film some awesome sports workout videos for yourself. Yo, what is going on? My name is Peter Sorellis and I am a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can film an awesome sports workout video and how filming a workout video for sports is different from filming a sports game. So let's get into the first tip, which is keep the camera moving. A lot of the time when you are filming sports workout videos, there's not as much action happening. You don't have 10 people running around on a basketball court. You're focusing on one or two people and it can get pretty stagnant because they're doing an action that's very repetitive. So you kind of need to find other ways to keep your content engaging. So one of the things that I love to do is to move the camera. I'll move the camera with the motion of the ball. I'll move the camera with the motion of the player. I'll zoom in and out in the middle of the shot so that the ball stays framed a certain way. I'll just keep the camera moving. I'll keep the frame changing very constantly to keep the viewer engaged. I want these workout videos to move quickly because the game isn't moving quickly. There's less subjects, there's less action. It's a little bit of a slower vibe, these workout videos. So you need to find other ways to make them engaging. On the note of making videos engaging, another thing that I love to do during workout videos is to cut similar actions together. During a game, you never, well not never, but almost never, have the same thing happen twice. You'll get multiple layups, but you won't get multiple layups in the exact same way. But when you're doing a workout video, that's totally not true. You have players doing drills for a few minutes at a time, doing the exact same action over and over and over and over again. So if you're filming a workout video, you should make sure to capture that action from multiple angles. You should capture it at multiple focal lengths, and then you can cut these actions together so that it looks like one fluid action from four different angles. And it makes it seem like you might've filmed this workout video with four or five cameras, when really it could have just been you alone being diligent, moving around the gym and getting as many angles as possible. Another thing that is very important in workout videos is to capture details. You really want this video to be about the player or players who are working out. These are your subjects. They're kind of the main characters of this workout video. If you want to get the sweat dripping down their forehead, that's great. If there's little details like a clenching fist or a high five that you can get right in the forefront of your shot, that's amazing. An example from today when I was shooting a workout video, one of the players had some writing and some motivational quotes on his shoes written in permanent marker. So when he was standing still, I made sure to get close enough to him that I could zoom right in on that writing and get a close up of it. And that B-roll is definitely making it into my video because those quotes that the player wrote on his shoe kind of symbolize the way he thinks and it creates a little bit more emotional investment for the viewer. On the topic of emotional investment, the fourth tip is to capture emotion. Anytime you can get a player yelling, flexing, being excited, being sad they missed a shot, anything like that, it's gold. For workout videos, this sells your character. Remember, the player is the character and you are trying to tell that character's story. Emotion is a great way to tell a story. So whenever you see anything that involves any sort of emotion, you see someone express themselves as a result of an action that happened, then you want to capture that emotion and you want to include it in your edit. This is similar to what you do in a game. I've talked about showing an action then showing an emotion attached to that action in previous videos where I talked about how to make a compelling sports video. And the same thing applies to workouts. It's just a little bit different because instead of focusing on a team, you're focusing on one individual person. The last thing I'm going to say for how to film an awesome sports workout video is to shoot with the edit in mind. Now you want to do this for a game as well, obviously, but when you're filming workout videos, there's specific things that you can do that you really want to think about. Something that I love doing in workout videos, and I know that some of my colleagues love doing this as well, is using stabilization and planning different special effects or editing techniques that you can add to your video that you can't always plan for that well in a game. For a workout video, I know I have one subject, so I'm gonna make sure that subject stays in the same position in the frame the entire shot no matter what. Then I can go and stabilize that subject so that the movement of the camera follows the movement of the subject. In a game, this might be a bit of a more difficult technique to do because other players can obstruct the subject, the subject can end up behind someone, he can get behind the backboard, there's like other things in the way and you can't really move around to the optimal angle all the time. But when you're doing a workout video, you can kind of move anywhere on the court that you want and there's not many other players around so there's not much to obstruct you. So your possibilities for editing are a lot greater so you can plan more complex edits and then shoot them effectively during the video so that when you go back to your editing bay, you have a lot of awesome footage to work with. All right, so that'd be it for this video. I hope that these five tips to film awesome sports workout videos have been helpful for you. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and content for videographers just like this one. And until next time, peace.